strange release clauses, weird buyback options, and borderline psychotic conditions. There are always cases of contracts in football being done in a, let's just say, an unconventional manner. If you thought that transfer fees paid by clubs are baffling, you're in for a shock, because some of the contract stipulations that we'll be talking about today are weird AF. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favorite leagues, teams, and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they are involved in other breaking news. It's the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. There was a time when Cardiff City were owned by Sam Hammam, who was as eccentric as Elon Musk. The Lebanese businessman relinquished control of the club in early 2022 and was well known for inserting unique clauses inside his players' contracts. However, one stipulation that was given to Spencer Pryor was disgusting and borderline criminal. The player was asked to eat sheep testicles, which are a delicacy in Lebanon. The former Manchester City man was never one to back down and says that he did try the delicacy, which was later revealed to be slow-cooked chicken. These days, taking a flight to the moon isn't that difficult if you have the money. Mars is the next destination anyway, so a lunar landing is nothing but a temporary stopover. However, back in the 90s, a flight to space was still a pipe dream. In 1999, the Sweden international joined Sunderland from Valencia. In the midst of that, the player was eager to sign up for the first ever commercial flight to space. The Black Cats, though, were not too enthused by the idea and inserted a clause in his contract that would not allow him to leave the outer limit of our planet's orbit. To date, though, Schwartz has not been able to leave lower Earth orbit. Giuseppe Reina was a German striker who spent all of his career in the Bundesliga. There was a time when he was considered one of the best forwards in the country. In 1996, he signed for Arminia Bielefeld. It was there where he convinced his new management to insert a clause inside his contract, which would see him become the owner of a new house for every year he spent with the team. Reina thought he'd hit the mother load after the club agreed to his demands. However, the player never specified the size or type of property he wanted. So, Bielefeld committed a legendary bit of shithousery by building a house for their new striker out of Lego for each year of his three-year deal. Of course, Reina must have felt like someone had egged his face, but we have to say that it was a very smart move. Everyone likes to look out for the best interests of their family, and footballers are not different. In 1999, Congo international Guy Mien joined Eintracht Frankfurt, but before signing the deal with the 2022 Europa League winners, he asked the club to arrange cooking classes for his wife as part of the deal. The midfielder claimed that his performances will improve considerably if his wife's culinary skills were on point. Smart man. The legendary Dutchman was renowned for opting not to fly on a plane due to his fear of flying. In fact, the decision ended up costing him around £100,000. Bergkamp would prefer travelling by train or bus. This was why he ended up missing a lot of European games. A really talented player with a tendency to bend the rules, Luis Suarez bit three professionals during his storied career. Once he was about to sign for Barcelona, the club's ex-president, Josep Maria Bartomeu, reportedly inserted a no-bite clause in his contract, something that now disgraced former president has denied. But we wouldn't be surprised if there was a clause like that. Super Mario was always a complicated career. During his time at Manchester City, the striker partied with fireworks so much that he nearly burned down his house. So before he signed for Liverpool, the Reds made sure to insert a good conduct clause in his contract to make sure that the Italian wouldn't step out of line. Well, he didn't do much in Merseyside either. The legendary Brazilian was always an exception to most rules. His tendency to go clubbing straight after training and games was his undoing. By the time he was 41, the former Barca man was still playing the game and was set to sign for Flamengo where he insisted the club include a clause in his contract which allowed him to hit the town twice a week. 